Welcome ladies and gentlemen, and today we are taking a look at the treacherous lieutenant of the Decepticons, Air Commander Starscream. And guess what? We finally have a Tetrajet after all these years! An official Tetrajet Starscream! What took so long? I don't care, I'm just happy to have it. Now, with this being as awesome of a figure as it is, does it have issues? Yes. Yes it does, sadly. <laughs> Oh man, and it's here on the back. They managed to hide most of his robot mode somewhat well, but they didn't even bother with the robot mode chest. You, did you not even try, Hasbro? Come on, man. Uh, whatever. Now what I wondered whenever I seen shots like this, I'm like, how much of the robot mode is on the underside? Here you can see that literally half the robot mode is hanging out on the bottom. It's, for the most part, concealed. Where they did the paint apps for the carbon scoring on, on like his wings and his nose cone and everything, it's got a little bit of a brown in there. So, and just the way the pattern looks on him for the carbon scoring, it looks more like mud got slinged all over him. So, okay, whatever. Um, overall, how does he scale with like another figure? It's, you know what, him and Shockwave are actually comparable in mass. Obviously, because they're two different Transformers with two different vehicle modes, it got dispersed in different areas, but they are the same. Without a further ado, let's go ahead and move on to Starscream's robot mode. And I gotta say, he's kicking it. Now, one thing I do, I do dig is that, you know, all the, all the detailing in his faux canopy. I love that little aesthetic, uh, the fact that there's not, like, battle damage on it, um, I think is a little bit of improvement. I mean, you have a little bit up here around this intake or, or turbine, but um, see, once you actually get it secured in robot mode, that faux chest doesn't bother you. Now, one thing I, I am loving is how the nose cone basically got recycled into his shoulder pylons. Now, one thing that I have to say about, about this Starscream and uh, Soundwave is they have killer light piping. And um, as you can see on screen, his, his eyes are lit up and he just looks great. Loving that G1 head sculpt. You know, unlike the, the Power of the Primes version, this feels more like Starscream. These wings can like arc out at a weird angle, which I mean, if you wanted to do that and put him in like some, you know, strange action pose, I guess, I guess you could do that. But before we go ahead and drone on too much, let's go ahead and look at this guy with his fellow Decepticons. And I must say that I am loving how it looks. Um, you know, we saw that Starscream on his own stands out as a really good figure uh, in either mode. But when you actually put him with the other three big Decepticons, like these four are kind of like the core uh, bad guys of the first two seasons. You know, you have your other Decepticons that fill out the ranks, but if you take one of these away, you're missing something. So the fact that we have these four right now is awesome, and Starscream is an integral piece. And like I've probably said already too much, he looks good with these other three. Um, so it was wise of Hasbro to release him. But other than that, guys, there's really nothing else I can really brag about in regards to Starscream. Uh, so, without a further ado, guys, that has been the review of Transformers Siege Starscream. Until next time, guys, we'll see you in another review. <laughs>